What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with some more news, join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumours you need to know, including CM Punk will appear on AEW Collision, Smackdown going to 3 hours, the third Raw hour to be adult, WWE preparing fans for Bray Wyatt's return, sad news for Drew McIntyre, a stalker doxes Jey Uso, a former star not happy with WWE exit, Goldberg has an injury on his farm and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. And now let's hit the intro and get straight into our first story. Our first story looks at CM Punk appearing on AEW Collision. As more news concerning AEW and CM Punk and recent rumours that Punk may not return to AEW as originally planned, but now you've likely heard the murmurings that AEW and Punk reached an impasse over Punk wanting his friend A Steel to join him on the road and AEW telling Punk that Steel is not allowed at any AEW shows. There have also been rumours that Punk won't be at the debut of AEW's new Collision show and that AEW is preparing to move it from Chicago if things don't pan out. Finally, you may have heard that AEW sent legal papers to Punk, the nature of which is subject to speculation, but which has led some fans and pundits to suspect AEW carried out an ultimatum. However, the new site House of Wrestling reports that things aren't as bad as what's being reported, so we're all under the impression that CM Punk was going to be the leader of this show, and then immediately it's like, oh well, actually, maybe he might not be. And then some fake rumours came out about Daily's place in the United Center, and all this stuff going on, but it seems as though we're all systems go tomorrow. House of Wrestling is referring to the 24th May edition of Dynamite, where it's believed AEW President Tony Khan will provide an update on the venue for AEW Collision's debut. What are the legal papers that AEW reportedly sent to Punk? Okay, side seats Randall Ottman noted. According to Fightful Select, the documents AEW sent to CM Punk were for contractual purposes to cover an issues that may arise upon their working relationship moving forward. It would appear then that his return is still moving ahead at this time. Now, there's already speculation that the legal documents may contain provisions regarding penalties should Punk no-show any events or break AEW's rules against talent making certain comments on social media. AEW is taking a chance with Punk showing up and it makes sense that they would want to protect themselves should they decide to no-show the event. Given the volatility of this situation, it's important to remember that things can change on a dime. Next up, SmackDown to 3 hours. Those interesting comments coming from WWE President Nick Khan who recently appeared at a JP Morgan Technology Media and Communications Conference event where he discussed the WWE product including whether the company is open to expanding SmackDown from a 2 hour show to a 3 hour show. Khan commented, we're still open to a third hour for SmackDown. According to Ringside News, he talked up Amazon. He said SmackDown as well as Raw can go on any night of the week. Some fans commented that if SmackDown stays on Fox, a third hour would cut into Fox affiliates 10pm local news broadcast. However, the WWE is doing so well right now that Fox is just one of the many possible locations. Next up, a third Raw hour to be adult. And it can't also address the subject that's been brought up before, whether Raw's third hour might feature more adult content such as added violence or even blood. According to Brandon Thurston from WrestleNomics, Nick Khan discussed Raw at the TMC conference. Raw is three hours, we don't anticipate that changing. They're in discussions about what to do with a 10 to 11 p.m. hour, whether to make it more adult. Like a third hour of SmackDown, a more adult orientated third hour of Raw has been discussed before. As we pointed out before, the WWE seems content with its current product in terms of how far it goes with so-called mature themes, especially in light of the increasing number of blue chip advertisers it attracts and lucrative sponsorship deals. Next up, WWE preparing for Bray Wyatt's return? Are they preparing for Bray Wyatt's return? Well, that's the question some fans are asking after an eagle-eyed fan posted a short clip from Raw when a befuddled Adam Pearce called Triple H for help with Cody Rhodes. In the clip, you can see a QR code, however, a sports key denoted. However, due to the faint WWE Live logo appearing on the bottom right section of the screen and Adam Pearce covering up the image, this led to many fans saying that they were unable to scan the code when it appeared on their screen. As we noted in our Night of Champions rumors video, the WWE Saudi show is an ideal venue to bring Wyatt back as it would pop the crowd and give him a high profile return. Of course, if the QR code is related to Wyatt, it may be the beginning of another extended tease for his return, which may not happen for weeks. While there's been confusion about Wyatt's status in the WWE, it's believed the WWE is still planning to utilize him once he returns from his medical-related absence. Next up, is Logan Paul returning soon? 
Now, fans of Logan Paul would be happy to know that the Maverick is set to return at WWE soon. Russell Votes recently reported that I have sources telling me that he works two pay-per-views this summer, the London show Money in the Bank and then obviously SummerSlam. It's almost expected that he's on those cards and the only creative that I could find out is that he's likely to be inside the Money in the Bank match, not a guarantee. And although Logan Paul isn't a full-time competitor, he's fairly active for a celebrity turned wrestler and the WWE capitalizes on his fame when it comes to promoting big events and both Money in the Bank and SummerSlam certainly qualify as big. Next up, sad news for Drew McIntyre as his sister-in-law passes away. Now, sad news to report as Drew McIntyre's sister-in-law Ashley has passed away. Here's an excerpt from a Facebook post revealing the news. It is with the heaviest of hearts that we inform you that of the sudden passing of Ashley. She was so deeply loved as a daughter, sister, niece, cousin and friend to so many. She was an incredibly smart, beautiful and caring person who fought for the inclusion of others and was proud to be an advocate for those less fortunate. Her passing left a void in our lives that cannot be filled. And many fans and Drew's fellow wrestlers sent their condolences to Drew and his family via social media. We'd also like to pass our condolences to Drew and his family. Next up, a stalker allegedly doxes Jey Uso. A Jey Uso is reportedly dealing with a stalker, the latest wrestler to have to deal with someone apparently obsessed with him. Ringside News reported the female allegedly leaked Jey's home address. In addition, she posted some creepy videos, including one where the woman was seen waking up next to a Jey Uso action figure and kissing it. Naturally, a lot of fans are also concerned for Jey Uso's safety and condemned the women's actions. Hopefully, Jay and WWE can get this situation resolved as any stalking case has the potential for danger, something fans have seen happen far too often. Next up, another WWE tag team missing in action. It's time for the latest edition of our Phantom Zone report where we look at a superstar, or in this case superstars, absent from TV. Fans of Los Lotharios, of Humberto Correa and Angel Garza haven't seen much of the time, especially after they were drafted to Raw. So why aren't they on TV? Well, Meltzer addressed this on the recent Wrestling Observer Radio saying, They're low on the pecking order, and I think that's pretty much it. They're there, but they just don't do anything with them, and they're talented guys too. WWE's got a lot of talented guys, and some of them are. It's always going to be a case when some of them just aren't used, and I mean WWE, but AEW is the same way. Meltzer discussed the possibilities for the tag team. So there's going to be people like that, and they could send them to NXT, I suppose, and that's not necessarily the worst idea, but right now they're kind of just like a lot of guys, they're just guys that are there. Shelton Benjamin, Cedric Alexander, just guys that are there, they're on the roster, and they just don't do anything with. With the rumours that WWE may be trimming its roster, fans shouldn't rule out the possibility of WWE future endeavouring some of its less utilised teams. Next up, a former star not happy with the WWE exit. Alicia Fox was actually recently released by WWE, but it appears she has some unfinished business to take care of. The former Divas champion appeared on the Muscle Man Malcolm show and she said she plans on doing some training at Booker T's wrestling school because her in-ring career is far from over. We're out of the box, we're out. I was like, well, I got some things to take care of. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go knock some ring dust off with Booker. She also discussed a return to the squared circle and the WWE's decision to retire her. Girl, this appearance has been eye-opening. I didn't put my face on that alumni section. I never said that. My bags are still packed. I'm pissed about it. So this is what I'm thinking. So I'm talking to Booker and Charmel, and then I'll go do that. Then we'll go knock on Trin's house, and then Sasha's house. Our Fox sounds like she's open and knocking the forbidden door, and wrestling both Trinity, aka Naomi, and Mercedes Money, aka Sasha Banks. Would you guys like to see a return to the ring? Let us know in the comments down below. And finally, Goldberg injured on his farm. Last but not least, Bill Goldberg is showing off the results of an impromptu match he had on his farm as he battled a piece of heavy machinery. According to TMZ Sports, a rep for the wrestling legend tells TMZ Sports Goldberg was getting work done on his property when he accidentally locked his noggin on his tractor, opening up a big gash near his forehead. The Hall of Famer shared a post-match picture on his Instagram. But there you have it folks, the wildest news stories and rumours you need to know. Be sure to leave your comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.